Good morning, AGC. It is great to be with you again for our time of chapel. Time where we can sing some songs together and we can share a story and we can pray together. I'm going to ask you all to please stand up and we're going to sing a few songs. The first song I want to do is one that we probably haven't done in a little while. It's called Down in My Heart. I have the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Down in my heart to stay. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. All right, can we do that? And there's a couple other verses. So let's try that together. I have the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Down in my heart to stay. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. And then we sing, um, love of Jesus. I have the love of Jesus, love of Jesus down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. I have the love of Jesus, love of Jesus here down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart to stay. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. How about this one? This one's a tough one. Peace that passes understanding. Ready? I've got the peace that passes understanding down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. I have the peace that passes understanding down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart to stay. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. I'm so happy, so very happy. I have the love of Jesus in my heart. Joy, joy, joy. I have the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. I have the love of joy, 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 joy down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart to stay. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I have the love of Jesus in my heart. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I have the love of Jesus in my heart. Awesome, good job. I know that was new for you. I'm sure you did a great job with that. We'll have to do that some more so that we get used to that one. Here's one that I know that you all know. It's Jesus Loves Me. Can we sing that together? Here we go. Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so, little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. All right, can we put our actions together with that? Remember, this is Jesus. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. 
Awesome. Great job, everyone. Great job. Let's end our time with Rise and Shine. You remember that? We've got some actions that go along with that as well. You ready? Here we go. Rise and shine and give God the glory, glory. Rise and shine and give God the glory, glory. Rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, children of the Lord. One more time. Rise and shine and give God the glory, glory. Rise and shine and give God the glory, glory. Rise and shine and give God the glory, glory, children of the Lord. Fantastic. You are all very awesome. I wish I was there to hear you sing because you do such a great job singing. Can I get you all to sit down now? And I share a story with you. Great. Thank you for doing that. You know, sometimes there's different ways that we uh, perhaps choose who the leader is going to be or uh, sometimes who the strongest uh, is, the different kind of things like arm wrestling contest and all kinds of different things. But there's a particular game that helps choose a winner by which one has chosen the strongest thing. And by that, I mean, it's a game called Rock, Paper, and Scissors. So the rock is stronger than scissors because the rock can smash the scissors. So if two people were playing the game and they did, one did rock and the other did scissors, the one who did rock would win. Then scissors can cut paper. So in that case, scissors would be stronger because the scissors could cut the paper. And then finally, paper is stronger than the rock because the paper can cover up the rock. The way this normally works is two people would go one, two, and on three, they would choose either rock, paper, scissors, or paper. And whoever had the stronger element would win. You might try that sometime. If you're trying to choose a leader or just choose a winner or just have fun with that game. You go one, two, and then hold your symbol. One, two, and then your symbol. One, two, and then your symbol. And then you decide who chose the stronger piece. Rock uh, smashes scissors. Scissors cuts paper, and paper covers rock. That's how we determine the winner in that particular game. So what does that have to do about Jesus? Because we're always talking about Jesus and stories about Jesus, right? Um, so there's a story in the Bible where Jesus shows that he is the strong one and shows how strong he is. It was on a Sunday that Jesus went to his church. It's called the synagogue. Can you say that? Synagogue. Right. So he went to church and he was teaching people. And while he was there, there was a man who was possessed by an evil spirit. And when Jesus went near him, the man cried out. Actually, the evil spirit within him cried out, says, What do you want with us, Jesus? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are. You are the Holy One of God. Wow, that's pretty awesome, right? Pretty intimidating. But you know what? Jesus simply said, Be quiet. And then he told the evil spirit, Come out. And you know what happened? That evil spirit left that man and he was no longer possessed by that spirit. And his the people couldn't believe how strong Jesus was, that Jesus had power even over evil spirits. 
It was an awesome display of Jesus's power. Jesus in this story shows us that he has power over everything, even the bad things that happen in our lives. He shows that he's stronger than the worst person or worst enemy we could ever think of. But the best thing about Jesus is how he uses his power. He uses his power for good, not to hurt people, but he uses it for good. He uses it to heal them. He uses it to love them. Jesus came to earth. We just celebrated that, right? Not too long ago at Christmas, that God became one of us in Jesus. And Jesus came here to show us how much God loves us. So when you and I follow that example of Jesus and love others, we can use our strength in ways to help others rather than to hurt them. I hope that you can remember this, that you can maybe if you're playing rock, paper, scissors, or you're doing any kind of game like maybe tug of war or arm wrestling or whatever it may be when you're talking about strength and power, who is the greatest, to always remember that Jesus is the greatest. And Jesus would always have us use our power to show God's love to everyone that we would help them, that our strength and our power would be used for good. Can you all remember that for me? I hope that you can. Let's close our time with a prayer. As always, I'll say a few words and you repeat them after me. That way we're praying together. Let's pray. Let's bow our heads, close our eyes and fold our hands and say these words with me. Gracious God, we thank you for loving us. We thank you for stories in the Bible that show us that you are strong, stronger than anything else. You show us that your strength is used for good. Help us, Jesus, to do the same, to use our strength, our abilities, to help and to love others so that they may know of your love. Amen. Thank you for spending this time with me. I do look forward to a time when we can be all together and I can really hear you all sing and we can share this time face to face. But you all have a great week. I'll see you later. Take care of yourselves. Love everybody. Bye.